So there's been a lot going on in kidney cancer. As I mentioned, it was one of the diseases that was featured, if you will, in the phase one study. Uh, there was over 30 patients in that phase one study. That was the initial signal that these drugs had, you know, pretty clear activity. So since that time, there have been, you know, a number of studies done. Um, uh, we've participated at Cleveland Clinic in many of them. Um, again, BMS has had the lead compounds. Uh, they've done studies of uh, their PD-1 inhibitor plus either pazopinib or, or sunitinib. There'll be some data presented, uh, I believe, Monday on that combination. Um, then they've also done an uh, Ipilimumab, which is a uh, CTLA-4 inhibitor, another checkpoint inhibitor, plus nivolumab, again, based on some signal seen in melanoma. Um, they've launched a, a, a phase three trial uh, compared to Everolimus in the refractory setting, so there's a number of, of trials going on. Our experience in treating patients either with single agent or with combination is that there's, there's clear anti-tumor activity. Um, impressively, some of it's very durable. It's a little earlier on in kidney cancer than, say, melanoma, but we're starting to see patients out now over a year, probably some approaching two years from the early trials, which is an impressive duration of disease control. And then I think the other important thing we've seen is, is toxicity. So the, the downside we haven't talked about yet is that these drugs kick up the immune system against the tumor. That's good, but they also kick it up against normal organs. So against the bowel causing diarrhea, against the liver sometimes causing liver function abnormalities, et cetera. So we're kind of getting another education in toxicity management that's very distinct from TKI uh, management. That's, that's some of the same side effects like diarrhea, but very different in terms of management, um, using steroids and other anti-inflammatories to control, and it's been a whole other learning curve for us. And I think that's going to be a challenge as these drugs roll out you know, into broader clinical trials and into the community eventually um, is sort of re-educating people because prompt recognition of and treatment of side effects is, is critical, I think, for successfully balancing risk and benefit for these drugs.